Projective Geometry, Volume 1, by Oswald Biblin and John Wesley Young. Chapter 3. Projectivities of the Primitive Geometric Forms of 1, 2, and 3 Dimensions. Section 29. Projective Collineations of Three-Dimensional Forms. Projective collineations in a three-dimensional form have been defined at the beginning of Section 28. Definition. Projective collineation in space, which leaves invariant every point of a plane omega and every plane on a point O, is called a perspective collineation. The plane omega is called the plane of perspectivity. The point O is called the center. If O is on omega, the collineation is said to be an elation in space, otherwise a homology in space. Theorem 11. If O is any point, and omega any plane, there exists one and only one perspective collineation in space, having O and omega for center and plane of perspectivity, respectively, which transforms any point A, distinct from O and not on omega, into any other point A prime, distinct from O and not on omega, collinear with A O. Assumptions A and E. Proof. We show first that there cannot be more than one perspective collineation satisfying the conditions of the theorem by showing that the point B prime homologous to any point B is uniquely determined by the given conditions. We may assume B not on omega and distinct from O and A. Suppose first that B is not on the line AO, figure 31. Since BO is an invariant line, B prime is on BO, and if the line AB meets omega in L, the line AB equal AL is transformed into the line A prime L. Hence, B prime is determined as the intersection of BO and A prime L. There remains the case where B is on AO and distinct from A and O, figure 32. Let C, C prime be any pair of homologous points not on AO, and let AC and BC meet omega in L and M, respectively. The line MB equal to MC is transformed into MC prime, and the point B prime is then determined as the intersection of the lines BO and MC prime that this point is independent of the choice of the pair C, C prime, now follows from the fact that the quadrangle MLC, C prime gives the quadrangular set Q of K, A, A prime, comma, O, B prime, B, where K is the point in which A, O meets omega. K may coincide with O without affecting the argument. The point B prime is then uniquely determined by the five points, O, K, A, A prime, B. The correspondence defined by the construction in the paragraph above has been proved to be one to one throughout. The line A, O is projective because of the perspectivities, figure 32. Pencil B is perspective with center C to the pencil M, which is perspective with center C prime to the pencil B prime. On O, B, any other line through O, it is projective because of the perspectivities, figure 31. The pencil B is perspective with center A to the pencil L, which is perspective with center A prime to the pencil B prime. That any pencil of points not through O is transformed into a perspective pencil, the center of perspectivity being O, is now easily seen and is left as an exercise for the reader. From this, it follows that any one-dimensional form is transformed into a projective form so that the correspondence which has been constructed satisfies the definition of a projective collineation. Theorem 12. Any complete five-point in space can be transformed into any other complete five-point in space by a projective collineation, which is the resultant of a finite number of perspective collineations. Assumptions A and E. Proof. Let the five points B, A, B, C, D, E, and A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, E prime, respectively. We will show first that there exists a collineation leaving A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime invariant and transforming into E prime 
any point E0 not coplanar with three of the points A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Consider a homology having A prime, B prime, C prime as plane of perspectivity and D prime as center. Any such homology transforms E0 into a point on the line E0 D prime. Similarly, a homology with plane A prime, B prime, D prime and center C prime transforms E prime into a point on the line E prime C prime. If E0 D prime and E prime C prime intersect in a point E1, the resultant of two homologies of the kind described, of which the first transforms E0 into E1 and the second transforms E1 into E prime, leaves A prime B prime C prime D prime invariant and transforms E0 into E prime. If the lines E0 D prime and E prime C prime are skew, there is a line through B prime meeting the lines E0 D prime and E prime C prime respectively. In two points E1 and E2, the resultant of the three homologies of which the first has the plane A prime B prime C prime and center D prime and transforms E0 to E1 and of which the second has the plane A prime C prime D prime and the center B prime and transforms E1 to E2 and of which the third has the plane A prime B prime D prime and center C prime and transforms E2 to E prime is a collineation leaving A prime B prime C prime D prime invariant and transforming E0 to E prime. The remainder of the proof is now entirely analogous to the proof of theorem 10. The details are left as an exercise. Corollary, there exist projective collineations which will affect any one of the possible 120 permutations of the vertices of a complete five point in space. Assumptions A and E. Projective Geometry, Volume 1. This book was written by Oswald Veblen and John Wesley Young. It was published by Blaisdell Publishing Company, London, 1910, and is now in the public domain. It is read by Jim Renholt, with programming and illustration by Jim Renholt, 2019. Thank you for listening.